so let me clarify that we have witnessed other impacts, so we know impacts occurred. What was really special about the Jupiter one was we had warning that oh, was going to sure, happen. Sure. So, so all we knew was that at a certain time, these pieces were going to hit Jupiter, yeah. and that's all we knew. Yeah. And many people had predictions of what would happen. Some people predicted there'd be giant explosions. Some people predicted nothing would happen. Some people predicted there would be waves set up in the atmosphere. And so we had hmm. to design a program um, to observe phenomena that we had no idea what they were or what their time scales were or how bright they were, um, but we did. <laughs> The chunks of Comet crashed into Jupiter for several days in July of 1994 at a speed of 134,000 miles an hour. And the whole world was watching. I remember we were down in the basement of the Space Telescope Science Institute when the first fragment was supposed to hit. And uh, we had heard that in one of the observatories in Spain that they had seen an infrared flash at the time that the first impact was supposed to happen. Huh. So we were just sitting there waiting for the Hubble image to show up on the screen. Wow. And then it showed up and there was a bright spot next to the edge of Jupiter. And we're like, is that it? <laughs> is this like the blobs on top of Neptune? Yeah. What is this? Is, is that a moon? Is that Io? Wow. Uh, or is that a thing? And, 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 uh, you know, so we just like, look it up. You know, back then we used books, right? Look it up. Is it, <laughs> is it Io? And it's like, no, it's none of the moons. And it turned out to be the, the tip of a giant plume that had blown 3,000 miles out above the cloud tops of Jupiter from the impact of that explosion. Oh, my God. And that was just the first little guy. Wow. Right? And we knew that in a couple of days there would be some big, big ones hitting. Wow. And so when that first picture came in and there was this like big Jupiter I'm like, what in the world? I, and it was just mind blowing. Like I said, we were down in the basement, right? And we had a little tiny T V screen showing a that one floor up in the auditorium. Dean Shoemaker and Carolyn Shoemaker and David Levy were doing a press conference with all these press, and they were saying, we're not really sure if we're going to see anything. And I'm down in the basement looking at this picture. Wow. <laughs> this spot on Jupiter. I'm like, we have to oh, break we got in. It. Yeah. we got to break in. And they're like, no, no, you can't do that. That's, you know, I'm like, we're going up. <laughs> and I said that to the TV crew. I'm like, we're going up. And we just, you know, went up the stairs and broke right into the press conference. This is a plume sequence, and you can see this is hot off the press. And we're just taking a picture of a laser copy hold up. It's a sequence of hot spots. Absolutely knocked our socks off. It was fun, you know, and I thought it was really important to share that moment of excitement. And every, oh, everyone's like, no, 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 you can't do that. I'm like, of course we can. And they couldn't That's stop the me. That's the whole point, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I just did it. Um, Good for yeah. you. Yeah, it was fun. Did you sleep at all that week? Very little. Yeah. A very, very little. I remember one night, about in the middle of the week, I, I just I was just so tired. I'd been up for 20 hours. And I went back to my hotel room, and I laid on the bed, and I was vibrating. I was wow. Like, I was shaking. There was uh -huh. just like so much adrenaline. And I, I slept about four hours, I think, before we all went back in. Because these impacts were happening every day. 